Scenery is what ties a model railroad together and brings it to life. You can have meticulously detailed rolling stock and neatly laid track, but you'll need good scenery if you're to have a realistic looking miniature world. And the more realistic the scenery is, the more believable the rest of the elements will be. The trick is to think of yourself as the director of a stage show. The curtain goes up and your audience will want to see some drama in the scene. So set the stage to showcase the trains you have detailed so carefully. Perhaps include some lush green hills with a steep rocky gorge for trains to travel through. A tunnel crossing a stream before mysteriously disappearing into the side of a mountain. Some cumulus clouds appearing to drift in the background. Then complete the scene with realistic props like trees, fences, buildings, culverts, telegraph poles, people, animals, vehicles, and anything that adds realism and character and brings the scene to life. In my opinion, a realistic looking model railroad is one that gives you the feeling of scenery with track passing through it. Not lots of track with a little scenery around it. But in all fairness, that's something you'll need to decide for yourself. How much priority you want to give to scenery or to train operations is always an individual choice. Personally, I would resist the temptation to add an extra spur or siding, even if I had the space to do it. That's my golden rule. If you want realistic scenery, you'll need to leave space for it. There's no exact formula on how much track to have versus how much scenery. It really comes down to personal choice and how real you want things to look. If the scene looks convincing to you, it will probably look convincing to other people. But if you do think something doesn't look quite right, then it's likely you won't be the only person to notice it. And if you are pushed for space, there are some clever ways to use the scenery to your advantage. Try and make the scene as deep as possible, keeping in mind you still need to be able to reach if a train derails. I found that having most of the scenery in front of the track gives a better illusion of open space, so place the track closer to the backdrop rather than near the front edge of the layout. A well designed backdrop with rolling hillside can give the impression of distance and wide open spaces behind the track. Including flat open areas can expand the size of a city. Mountains can give the illusion of a bigger canyon for the train to wind through. Yes, these are all illusions that can trick the mind into imagining more than is really there. And if you have a narrower layout space, you can include low relief buildings that are just an inch or two thick. This can make a layout look deeper than it really is. You can also model mountain scenes on a narrow layout to give the appearance of height. But don't feel that you have to be an artist to create convincing scenery and backdrops. Many of the techniques are very simple when you know how. There are also lots of clever little tricks you can learn to make this easy and inexpensive. For example, you can use cotton wool balls to simulate a clump of trees in the distance. You simply cut them in half and tease them a little to alter the shapes. You then spray them a greeny colour to make them look like real vegetation. It's very easy and inexpensive. Another low cost idea is to roll tin foil into small balls and then with some pliers you squeeze them into tiny cubes. You can group the cubes together and paint them a rusty colour to resemble a heap of scrap metal. Easy and effective. Another tip is to bend a roadway on its approach to the backdrop. This is better than having it stop abruptly against a wall. It's easy to add some greenery on either side to hide it a little and give the appearance of the road weaving off into the distance. Doing this can make a big difference and add to the realism. There's a lot more I can show you, so I've made some more videos. You are welcome to watch them and also get the excellent Model Train Tips ebook absolutely free at the same time. Just click on the link to get access. As soon as you've done that, I'll talk to you again on the next video. See you again soon.